In a recent study, we show that when the 2 meter long human genome folds inside the microscopic nucleus of a cell, it forms 10,000 loops. Each of these loops connects two anchor points which are far apart along the chromosome, but which loop back, coming close together as the genome folds. In our new study, we find that loops form by a process called extrusion. Let's take a look at how this operates on a segment of DNA. First, an extrusion complex containing two subunits attaches to DNA, forming a small loop in the process. Next, the two subunits slide along DNA in opposite directions, making the loop grow bigger and bigger. The extrusion complex looks for a specific motif, a DNA word, which causes a protein called CTCF to bind to the DNA. If a subunit encounters a CTCF motif that is pointing at it, the subunit tends to stop. If the CTCF motif is pointing the other direction, the motif won't be recognized. To the subunit, the motif looks as though it is backwards. This behavior leads to a result we call the convergent rule. The pair of CTCF motifs at the ends of a loop must be pointing towards one another on the DNA. Our simulations also show that when loops form by extrusion, they lead naturally to the formation of what we call loop domains. This means that if two pieces of the genome are inside the same loop, they tend to bump into each other more often. In this physical simulation, you can see how the extrusion of two loops leads to the formation of two spatially segregated domains. Like the convergent rule, the association between loops and domains was observed in our earlier study, but at the time we did not understand why this was the case. Both findings, and many others that you can read about in our paper, can be explained by the extrusion mechanism. Extrusion is an exciting model for several reasons. First, loops that are formed by extrusion will be unknotted, so if you need access to the genetic information they contain, it's no problem. You can just stretch them out. Second, Extrusion doesn't just lead to segregation of domains within chromosomes. A collection of chromosomes that are all jumbled up will naturally become segregated if extrusion takes place. The fact that chromosomes are segregated in this way inside the nucleus, forming chromosome territories, is well known. Similarly, when several chromosomes are close together, loop formation by extrusion won't lead to entanglements. In contrast, loops forming by diffusion would routinely lead to entanglements. This is important because when cells divide, their chromosomes must come apart. At scales much larger than the double helix, the structure of the human genome is poorly understood. Loop extrusion provides us with a richer understanding of the genome's three-dimensional architecture.